Hi guys, uh, this is the second video and at this time I'm going to show you how to set up the develop environment. And first of all, I'm going to tell you which version of Python we are going to use in Qt. As you can see, for Python we are using the, the version 2.76 and for Qt we are using Qt 5, 4, I'm sorry. You may say, why not Python 3 and Qt 5? Well, uh, I had a problem, a big problem, because I was, when I was trying to, to, to create the standalone of my mm, file of my, uh, my application, I had a real problem, and that's, that is that Python installer do not support the Python 3 uh, scripts. So I, I, I couldn't use this, the latest version because it is not full compatible with Python installer. There, is, there exists a version of Python installer but it is that it is supposed to su that supports uh, Python three, but it is it, it is still in beta, so we are not using that Py installer, and also because uh, th and this version of Python is already installed in macOS and Linux, so it could be a little bit easier. So we are going to start downloading uh, the correct uh, files. And these are the download links I'm going to to share with you in the in the description of the video. And in Josemite, we have some steps to follow in order to create the the correct develop environment. First of all, we need to install Xcode with the 6.3 version, and we are we need to install also command line tools. I'm um, sorry, I I leave some Spanish in my in my keynote. Well, uh, then we need to install uh, Qt. Then we have we need to install zip. That it's a library for installing PyQt. And at the end, we need to install PyQt4. The, this are the 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 step by step uh, process to install all these uh, technologies, and that's it. The, this is for Linux, so we are going to stop here the keynote and let's start with the example. Okay, this is my virtual machine uh, with Josemite, and as you can see, I have downloaded all the, the tools that we need. First of all, we need to install Xcode and command line tools. So I have here Xcode, all we need to do is to drag and drop into applications folder. Well, while the, it is being copied to the folder, we are going to start installing command line tool. And some clicks, just a few clicks, then install or password. Okay. Well, once it be it be it is being copied, we need to close all these windows, and we need to eject these these images because we don't need it anymore. And all we need to do is to go and execute Xcode in order to to configure all the features. And as you can see. It is finishing installing all the components. Okay, once we have this window, everything is done and we, need, we are ready to go. The next, next step is to install Qt. So I have here my image of Qt. It is also a, uh, uh, an installer and we need to only click Next, continue, 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 continue. I'm agree. No, yes, that's it. If you don't have a, a, a command line tool or a Xcode install it in the right way, you are gonna see here. Uh, an error message and it is because you haven't done it in the right way so please be careful okay let's see which is the next step the next step is to install zip all right zip i have 
I have here zip okay here it is and here it is well once it has finished we need to close up this and we need to eject this one well let's go now to the terminal and let's enter to the folder that we have i have here on the desktop this is so cd desktop in pyqt ls and as you can see i have the folder of zip so we need to enter set a zip and here we need to execute this command then hit enter then we need to run make and then we need to run sudo make install or password and that's it then we need to install to go to the pyqt folder and and run this command i'm going to copy and cd pyqt and i'm going to run this command just hit yes once it has finished we need to run the command make and it will take uh, some minutes so I, I'm going to pause the the video and I'll be back in, in a few moments well once it has finished we need to execute the last command the very last command which is sudo make install it asks for a password it's already done how do we know if the tools that we have installed already works in the right way so we need to enter to the python shell and then we have to execute the command import pyqt4 and if we don't get any error here that means that we have already installed all our tools in the right way so that's it for this video and i'm going to see you again in the next video